Katie Eiler and in this video I am going to talk about soul contracts and how to work with them. We all come into this lifetime to expand, to learn about ourselves, and to evolve as a soul. So before we come here, we are an eternal soul that lives on whether we are in the spirit world or we are incarnating into a human lifetime. Some souls have incarnated into human lifetimes more than other souls and that's where things start getting a little bit, I won't say complicated, it just becomes part of who you are. So if you are living a human experience, that means that you are here to learn mainly through relationships. And relation you have relationships with everything. It's just not relationships with um, your partner, whether it's a friend or a boyfriend, girlfriend, wife, husband, but also as a family member, as, as children, as friends, as co-workers, all kinds of different relationships. So I want to take that further and say that relationships don't only have to do with people, but everything in life is a relationship. You have a relationship to everything, whether it's people, whether it's a relationship to an emotion. Some people are um, addicted to being um, depressed. Some people are addicted to being sick. Some people are addicted to being happy. You could have a relationship to your body, whether you love it or you hate it. You have a relationship to food, a relationship to your worth ethics, to your money, to everything. Basically, you have a relationship with everything. So today when we talk about soul contracts, I'm actually going to talk about people in this one and perhaps I'll do another video when where it comes to things and money and stuff like that but it's really important to know how to work with soul contracts and actually you can use this technique on any one of those um, relationships that I said or ones that you've thought of yourself that I didn't say so this can really apply to everything so I want to talk about soul contracts with people if you have been um, incarnated into other lifetimes, which the majority of people that I've met have lived many other lifetimes. Some people have lived a lot more lifetimes than others, but most people are not usually brand new to this experience of being a human. Not to say that that's not true for everyone, of course, but anyway, if you've lived other lifetimes, that means you've had other relationships. And quite often, we might come into this lifetime with relationships to work with the same people. So maybe in a past lifetime you had a husband that is in this lifetime your father or a past life your brother in this lifetime could be your father or husband. So, and also genders can change, but it's weird how we, it's almost like, you know, we come back and say, okay, this time when I come back, I'm going to, you know, be your whatever. Sometimes you come back and have relationships with each other over and over again, because you haven't been able to quite figure it out or get through it. And many times you might have like, I, I laughed at one of my teachers that I had a long time ago. She was talking about, oh, when she found out he killed her in another lifetime, that she didn't take it personally because she probably killed him a lot of times in other lifetimes. So, I mean, it's just like goes back and forth like that. So sometimes these relationships that you have in this lifetime could be karmic relationships. And I'm not going to go into all of that, but karmic relationships are really addicting relationships. Um, they are very attractive relationships, but most often they aren't relationships that are really good for you, but they're difficult to get away from. And they're almost sinful because like you just 
feel so drawn to it, even though, you know, you may have broken up and thought, you know, I, I know I don't want to be with this person. But why do I keep thinking about them? And, and why do I still feel attracted when they did all this stuff? And I know I'm totally done with it. Those are common, uh, symptoms of a karmic relationship. Okay, so let's talk about soul contracts. So we have them with everyone that we are in relationship with. So let's say that you have a boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, okay, whatever. And, you know, you're with them. And in this lifetime, it doesn't really always mean just because you're with somebody that you're supposed to be with them for the rest of your life. And sometimes it is. So it's a really good idea to check in with your soul contracts to see if you're still supposed to be with that person or not. Because many times we overstay the relationship. And when that happens, some of the common symptoms are that you become bored in the relationship, that, um, you know, you just end up like kind of settling and just staying in it because, you know, that's what, you know, you got married and maybe that's what you're supposed to do. You know, the boredom is really a big one to, to recognize. You know, we were taught in our society that we're supposed to get married and stay together. The interesting thing is when marriage was first introduced, it was never about being in love. It was about, you know, being paired and um, for whatever reasons that was happening in your family um, line. And, you know, now people look at, you know, oh, you should, you know, they everybody thinks you're supposed to marry for love. And, well, I would say that's probably not necessarily true because that's not even in our DNA. Now, it sounds nice, and I don't know where it came from. It sounds romantic and wonderful. Yes, and who wouldn't want to? But it wasn't that it was what we what was introduced into our DNA. So it's not actually um, something that is... Um, normally a part of us. So, you know, that's one thing, you know, you know, I'm not going to go into that about, you know, what relationships are and all of that, but I do want to talk about these soul contracts. So we're all with each other for a reason to learn things from each other. And sometimes we're with each other and it might be so darn frustrating and you wonder, why the heck am I with this person? And maybe it's just really hard to get away from the person, even if you want to. Maybe there's complications that, you know, for whatever reason, you can't leave at that moment. Or maybe you're just having a problem leaving. Or maybe you did leave, but you keep thinking about the person. Or maybe that person just keeps showing up in your dreams. And it's just some sort of connection that's difficult to get through, whether it's difficult to live with the person and be with the person, or it's difficult to get rid of the person whether they're with you or not. And many times we can't get out of these connections with these soul contracts until we figure out what it is that we're here to work on so we can get through it and finish it. And the thing is, if you don't finish it. If it's left not totally done, it's a pretty good chance that you're going to come back in another lifetime to continue to work on it. So, you know, I was thinking about, I wanted, you know, I'm talking about people relationships, but I remember when I worked in corporate America and I really wanted to leave my job and for whatever reason, I just couldn't leave. And I knew I wanted to leave to do my spiritual teaching. I was already doing it. I was already doing readings and teaching classes on the weekends and stuff, but I wanted to leave that corporate job and the angels kept telling me, no, not yet, not yet, not yet for like three years. And finally I was just resigning myself to, I guess I'm not ever going to do that. And I finally decided to do some contract work on the place that I was working at and find out what my contract was with that workplace so I could work through it, finish it, break it, and get out of it. And that worked. I totally did the technique I'm going to teach you um, in this video on finding out what that contract was. And once you find out what the contract is, 
it'll make a lot more sense as to why you're with this person and why they act a certain way and why you act a certain way. And once you get that understanding, it becomes so much easier to deal with it really, actually. Once you really get the understanding of what that contract is about, it most often becomes almost a relief because now you understand what's going on. And once you understand, then you can deal with it in a more conscious way. You can decide what you need to do and how you need to do it because you know what's going on between both of you. You know your side of it. You know their side of it. And so with my workplace, when I found out what it was, I was just like, whoa. And it actually was pretty easy once I found out what it was that was holding me. Um, it was almost like it was holding me hostage and giving me these beliefs that I couldn't, there wouldn't be life after that job. Like that was like, if I didn't stay there, then I couldn't, you know, survive and have my livelihood. And it was so weird because I noticed that so many people that worked there had that same scenario in there playing out for them because I saw it in so many people. But once I understood it and then got in my power and said, um, no, that's not what I think. That's not what I believe. I'm not going to go there. And I did the technique. It really set me free. And I'm doing, you know, I've been doing this work for many, 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 many years now. So what I want to do is if you have a like I said, a relationship with somebody and you want to know what the soul contract is to help you or to help you end a relationship or make a relationship better or you ended a relationship but you can't get rid of the person out of your thoughts or they're somehow they're still invading your space um, or you can't get rid of somebody because you don't know. You just don't know. Okay. I call those deep chords. Okay. We have chords where we, you know, have these energetic connections to other people and there's, they're regular chords. And if you don't know what that is, um, basically, um, we get connected energetically to people for different, for different reasons. Sometimes they're happy chords. Sometimes they're mad chords. Sometimes they're abusive chords. Sometimes in some way you're aligning energy with somebody and connecting to them. And the thing with chords is if you don't cut those cords and sever those energies, then whatever's going on in your life or their life, you guys are going to be transmitting your energies back and forth. So you could be having a really great day and they might be having a really horrible, like depressing day. And all of a sudden you start feeling depressed out of nowhere. And you're like, I don't know why I feel like this. Like if I knew why I felt like this and I could understand, but I feel so depressed and I have no clue why. And if you don't cut those cords, you could be depressed for, you know, three weeks or a month or a year, depending on how depressed that person is and how you're transferring that energy. So with these deep cords that I'm tied, those are regular cords. These are deep cords that are contract cords, soul contract cords with people. These things we need to disconnect because if you're thinking about the person or you can't get rid of the person, there's some connection holding you. So you either want to, uh, with this soul contract work, you can find out what the contract is. You can either renegotiate the contract or you can resolve the contract or you can completely sever the contract. So it's a way that you can energetically really get in and really do some work to make changes in your life because in some way a soul contract is standing in your way or frustrating you or, or holding you hostage or you just, you know, whatever it is, you know. So you can fix these things and you can do it with or without the other person, okay? So let me take you through the exercise. Um, actually, I want to mention that I have another video that I had put up on YouTube about soul contracts. And so you may actually want to watch that video to just get a little bit more information about soul contracts. And you can go ahead and check that out.
Okay, so this is the technique. I want you to think of somebody that you want to look at the contract with them. Okay, so close your eyes and if you're wearing glasses, please take off your glasses because when you wear your glasses and you're trying to go into a meditation or do some sort of inner work, when you put on your glasses, you're telling your body to be alert and be looking outside of yourself. And right now, we really just want to go inside of you. So take off your glasses and get really comfortable and close your eyes and start taking some nice deep breaths. And just bring your energy down. Just slow down your energy by taking nice, big, deep breaths all the way down to your abdomen. And then blowing out all that stale air. And breathing in again. And blowing out. And I want you to imagine grounding cords like roots of a tree grounded to the, attached to the bottom of your feet and let them dig down into Mother Earth. And let them grab on to a giant crystal in the center of the earth and just feel or imagine Mother Earth's slow, strong heartbeat and allow that heartbeat to vibrate up those grounded cords to your feet and back down. And now I want you to move your attention away from the front of your head and just imagine your attention moving backwards to the center of your head and drop down slightly. And see yourself drop down into a pink bubble of light right in the center of your head and attach a grounding cord, another root, to that center of your head, that pink light, and let it drop down through your body, down to the core of the earth. Feel your spirit anchor fully into your body. And then feel your spirit expand out as big as your body, and then bigger than your body. Your body loves to feel full of its spirit, and many times our spirit is hanging out anywhere but in our body. So just feel your presence of your spirit fully in your body. Feel or imagine your aura around you, and whatever color comes up first, I want you to imagine that swirling around your body, evenly, full and thick, and about three feet around you, front, sides, and back. Three feet above your head and three feet below your feet. And surround your aura with a beautiful, glittery, golden white light just to hold your energy nice and close around you. Okay, make sure you're in the center of your head in that beautiful pink bubble and take nice deep breaths. And I want you to call in the person that you want to do your contract work on. So staying in that beautiful pink bubble in the center of your head, I just want you to imagine that you're seeing this person come to you. And this is their, actually their spirit, so call them by their name and see their spirit with you. And ask them, would you like to work on this contract with me? Yes or no? And listen for their answer. Now, if they say yes, that's great and perfect. They can stay and work on it. If they say no, that is fine. Tell them, okay, thank you. And let's ask the ones that said no to go away. Thank them for coming and then tell them thank you and goodbye. And I want you to just imagine their spirit disappears and you're going to stay and work on it on your own. And those of you who had people that said they want to stay and work on it, great. Just keep seeing that person's spirit with you. 
Now, we're going to ask Creator to show us the contract between yourself and that person. And I want you to just sit back and relax and say, I am ready to see the contract between me and Take a nice deep breath. So now I want you to sit back and pretend you're watching a movie. There's a big screen in front of you. You're going to let the details of your contract play out in front of you. So take a nice deep breath. Imagine you're sitting in your own theater. See that big screen in front of you and take a moment and see whatever comes up on that screen and trust whatever you see. So I'll give you a few minutes to do that. So now, I want you to decide, do you like this contract? Did you like what you saw? Did you like what you feel? Did you like what you heard? And if you like it and want to keep it this way, that's fine. Do you want to renegotiate it? Do you want to resolve it? Or do you want to completely cancel this contract? Decide which one. And then I want you to tell your partner, if they're there with you, what you would like to do. And if your partner is not with you, you decide what you want to do. And regardless if they agree with you or not, it doesn't matter because you have free will and you can change anything in your experience that you choose to change. So now, after you decide what you'd like to do, I want you to tell Creator that you're ready to make these changes in your contract and tell the Creator what changes you want made. Let me give you a moment to do that. See those changes being made into the Akashic Records, being moved around, the energy is shifted. Allow the Akashic Record to be updated. And now I want you to think of an energetic symbol. It can be anything. And what color is it? This symbol is the energy of your new contract. And what you're going to do is take this symbol and the color of it and run it through your body. Just imagine it 
energetically going through your body, pinging all of your cells, all of your energy. Upgrading the energy within you of this new contract. And then making sure that you run it through your aura, which includes the emotional, mental, and spiritual body that is around your physical body. And then put it right into your heart. And then make a duplicate of that from your heart and give it to Creator to put into your Akashic Records. See Creator take those Akashic Records and send them back to the Akashic Files. And your work is done. Thank your partner, if they're with you, for being with you to work on this contract. Cut the cord from them. And if your partner was not with you, cut the cord from them anyway. See them disappear. Take a nice deep breath. And when you're ready, come back. So, this is a simple way to look at contracts and renegotiate, resolve, or completely break the contract or keep the contract the way it was. You have the power to change anything in your contract, but the power is the knowledge that you receive from looking at the contract and empowering yourself to decide if that is really the way you want to continue to experience it in this lifetime or not. And like I said, you have free will and you can change anything that you want. So practice this technique. And the more you practice it, the easier it will be for you to uh, see that up on the on the movie screen and then decide what you want to do with it. But honestly, once you start getting really good at being able to open up to seeing these contracts and working with them and settling them or changing them, you will see that your life becomes easier once you are able to work with these contracts anytime you want. So I hope this has been helpful and um, keep practicing because it does get easier and you will definitely start seeing changes in your life as you work with these um, contract energies and understand more about your life and the relationships you have around you and why those, those relationships are with you and how they're serving you or how they're not serving you. But believe me, if you are having a soul contract with anybody, in some way it is there to serve you. So just be honest with yourself. You know, what you've contributed to that. How have you been contributing to that contract positively or negatively? And how it's been serving you, whether it's positive or negative. I hope you've enjoyed this. And I hope that you continue working with this technique because it is truly life-changing. Thank you so much for being with me. And good luck to you with your soul contracts and ultimately your soul evolution. Inspire and live your dream Change your life, set yourself free With Cindy Yeah, join Cindy Travel through Egypt, see the blue Nile, Sahara Desert, open up your mind Have an adventure in the deep red sea Get your dose of spirituality 
Get inspired, live your dream, change your life, set yourself free with Cindy. Yeah, join Cindy. Get inspired and live your dream, change your life, set yourself free with Cindy. Yeah, join Cindy.